time to get in Sachitanand Utekar of Trade Bulls for a quick chart check as well. Sachitanand, the Nifty, uh, firstly, good afternoon. But the Nifty being where it is, a question I wanted to ask you is on the Nifty Bank. How important is that 51800 level for the index to sustain? And if it does so, what kind of upside does it open up for the index? Uh, good afternoon, Ramos. Uh, clearly, if you look at both the indices, you know, they are uh, consolidating near their 50-day uh, exponential moving average support. Now, when we look at Nifty Bank itself, uh, the level is placed somewhere close to around 51,760. And for the last three trading sessions, we have already seen it comfortably trending near the same. But if you look at the RSI, the, especially the daily RSI, it has moved uh, quickly towards that 50 mark. And probably this is an early indication that uh, there is a very strong or, uh, you know, trend momentum which can be developed. If you look at the options data as well, uh, the critical barrier at 52,000 uh, needs to be violated. And once we see a breakout about the same, uh, we may see a very strong uh, directional move uh, towards 52,800 uh, kind of a level. So I think uh, rather than Nifty, uh, I think which is consolidating right now, uh, Nifty Bank is uh, currently presenting a fresh opportunity to build some long positions here. Uh, the base uh, is very well set at 51,700, so probably one can keep a stop loss at 51,660 on a closing basis and create some long positions with an intention that uh, 52,000 would be breached during this particular week and we may see a rally towards 52,840. Now, if you look at Nifty, uh, I think the range uh, uh, of consolidation may continue. Uh, there are uh, multiple uh, resistance levels right up to 52, uh, 20, 25,250. But on the lower side, uh, the base at 25,000 looks uh, firm. So probably we may see uh, you know, Nifty uh, uh, oscillating within this particular range of 250 points. But when it comes to Nifty Bank, we may see a strong directional rally on the upside. Okay, uh, what about specific stocks? Uh, what would you look at? Uh, good afternoon, Ekta. Uh, clearly, uh, the uh, trends uh, support uh, for Nifty Bank is, uh, uh, you know, seen uh, in stocks like, uh, you know, Kotak Mahindra Bank and, uh, you know, last week we saw, uh, during the week we saw HDFC Bank also performing well. Now it's time for ICICI Bank on the weekly scale. Uh, we are seeing a piercing line formation. Uh, the stock has also made a strong base near its 50-day consuming average support and we have uh, signs of short covering here. So we are anticipating that this move may unfold and push the uh, stock towards 1285 and that's why we are recommending uh, building long positions here in ICICI Bank futures. The stop loss for the trade should be placed at around 1240. Uh, in a day or so, we may see a swing towards uh, 1285. The other stock on our radar has been HAL. Now, the stock uh, was consistently in, under pressure. But if you look at last uh, few weeks, you know, it has managed to form a base here. It has started uh, trending above its 5 and 20 exponential averages. Uh, the 50 average uh, is also placed nearby. So the moment we see uh, HAL, uh, you know, uh, performing uh, or sustaining above that 4,600 mark, we may see a very strong rally towards uh, the 5,000 levels. And that's why we are recommending building fresh long positions in HAL. One can keep a stop loss at 4510 on a closing basis and expect to move towards uh, 4980 in a day or so. HAL, interesting pick there from Sachitanan. Thank you so much for joining in and sharing with us your views on the index and on specific stocks as well. That He expects the Nifty to remain in this 250 point range, but he says the Nifty Bank could be the index to watch out for. But while the Nifty continues to consolidate, 9,000.